How are your teeth different from a dog's or a beaver's? Teeth are important for a healthy life, no matter what kind of animal you are. Find out more about teeth. Hello, Alec. How hey, are you Dr. today? Bruce. I'm Good. Dr. Bruce. Nice to meet you. Have a seat. We're going to take a look at your teeth today, okay? Okay. All right, let me set this chair back for you. Okay, now what we're going to do is put the camera in your mouth, and then you'll be able to actually see it up on the screen, okay? Okay. Here it comes. Whoa, looks good in here. You've obviously been brushing. Hey, do you know how important your teeth are to staying healthy? Uh-uh. Okay, let's start with the basics. Roll them. You can tell a lot about an animal by looking at its teeth. Birds don't have teeth. They use their beaks. Frogs don't have teeth. They have a sticky tongue. Now cows, cows have teeth. They're plant eaters and have large, broad teeth to grind up their food. Beavers have sharp front teeth to snap branches. And meat eaters like wolves have sharp fangs to rip meat off the bones and shred their food. Humans have a combination of all of these kinds of teeth, not as sharp as a beaver's or as broad as a cow's, but our teeth allow us to eat different kinds of food. Adults have 32 teeth. The front are your incisors used for biting. Next are the canines or the cuspids. They're used for tearing food. And the big flat teeth in the back of your mouth are premolars and molars. They're used for chewing. Your teeth are held in place by your jaw bones and the soft pink tissue covering your jaw bones and surrounding your teeth is called your gums. All your teeth, gums, and bones work together to help you speak, eat, even yawn. You get two sets of teeth, your baby teeth. You start losing them when you're about five or six, and then you get your adult teeth. Now, your adult teeth, take care of them. When you lose them, you don't get any more. A tooth is made up of three parts. The white covering on the top is called the enamel. It's the hardest substance in your whole body. Next is a yellowish substance called dentin, which surrounds the pulp. That's made up of nerves and blood vessels. The nerves inside your teeth send signals to your brain to help you know how hard you're biting. When you eat, you leave small bits of food on your teeth, and millions of bacteria feast on your leftovers. They leave behind a sticky coating called plaque, and plaque makes acid, a chemical that slowly eats through the tooth enamel and the dentin, and that leaves a hole or a cavity. But brushing and flossing helps prevent plaque and prevent cavities. Healthy teeth will last you a lifetime if you take care of them. Brush twice a day, floss once a day, and see your dentist regularly. Okay, Alec, now I'm gonna have you rinse with that for about 10 to 15 seconds, and you're gonna spit it right back in the cup. Okay. Hey, wait a minute, where am I going? <laughs> great job. Okay, I'll see you in six months, all right? Thank you. You're welcome. You did a great job today. If you want to learn more, head to the Science Trek website. You'll find facts, links, games, material for educators and parents, and much more. You'll find it all at sciencetrek.org. <laughs>